Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel I made. So this is going to be a how-to for my school project and just for the general channel. This is going to be the first video on the Coldcraft or Coldcraft Coldchar school channel and then the 115th video on the Coldchar channel. Okay, so basically today I'm going to be teaching you how to wire a fire alarm system by Firelight by Honeywell. And we're going to be using the MS-9200. And then, so basically now we're going to do the warnings. The warnings now is that there's going to be up 240 volts present. And there will be side notes along the video to like, just give you a little heads up. So the first thing you're going to need is the panel itself. So this is going to be the, why, I can't remember the name of oh, wait a minute. So this is the MS-9200 Firelight Panel. It is adjustable and can have up to 99 devices on each um, SLC circuit. And SLC is going to be the C signaling line circuit. And you're going to need, obviously, the panel. You're going to need some strobes, some horns, some smoke detectors. You're going to need some resistors, a lot of wiring. Well, if you're doing it in a building, you're going to need a lot of wiring. And then you're going to need some biorecistors. Hey guys, there was a little bit of technical difficulty, so we're back. So I don't think I got to finish my warning. There's an epilepsy warning for anyone who has epi epilepsy, because the strobes I'm t I'm going to be setting up do not have a sync module, so they will be flashing out of order. So get one, and maybe I'll do a tutorial on that later. So here's our first video. It is going to be basics of the fire alarm panel. Hey guys, so this is going to be the first video in the series, so here, I'm just going to be showing you basics. So here's everything you will need. You don't need an enunciator, but it's going to be guest starring in this video, because I want to have it, and it's really cool when you set it up. And the yeah, that's a little spider wuggy in there, but I don't care. Okay, so just another brief of what you need. You need the panel. You need pulsation. You need your smoke detectors, you need your strobes, you need some wires, of course you need your resistors, you need some wire caps, and some batteries, and of course line wire. Okay, so, I don't have my keys. Okay, I got my keys. So we are going to now pull out the alarm panel. Sure, I didn't say I was going to just grab off. This is kind of heavy, so let's make softly out of metal. Let's just lay it down flat. It's okay if you drop it just a little bit, not too much. And mine didn't come with a lock, so I have to get my own key here. Get my own little keys. So get the key to your lock. It's either a firelight key or a custom lock key, like I have. Just hold it open. There you have the inside. And this is all you need for the panel. You don't need anything else. Because pre equipped. Uh uh. Uh uh. When my transformers came undone. Oh, uh, God. So here's the main interface. We have all of our buttons here that we will need. Number no Rock on the deck. Okay, now we have our, so we have a fire alarm, horn, strobe, power, we have power, power, now we have alarm contacts, then we have printer stuff for like communicating, SLC lines and shield, and then the access common. So that is all for the panel for now. Okay, let's just put our panel here. I wonder where this isn't closing. Oh, where is mine? And also, what is this? You don't have that right now. Okay, guys, so now is the powering tutorial. So you're going to want to feed your line through here that, that you have. There's a little hole, you might have to knock it out. 
I'm not sure how to do that, maybe later, but if you already have a holder, you can put it through. Then go ahead and put it through that. Now take your trusty screwdriver, and you have to loosen these, not all the way, but a lot of the way. And I'll show you, and then you want to take your wire and just shove it in there, just like that. And I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay guys, so I am back from wiring. So you want it to look like this, you want it to be green, white, black. And the way I have this now is not that organized. Like, you cannot have any of these wires touching any of these other wires. So what I like to do, just get in there and clean it up. Okay, once you're done cleaning it up, take the end of your power. So, and put it into a plug like this. Just go ahead and plug it in. Okay, now once you have it plugged in, your panel will be activated. It will start up a startup procedure. And now we will have light. And as you can see, there's trouble, like there's no, and because something I did is not working right for some reason. Well, actually, no, what that is is because there's no resistor up there. That's what it is. Kyle says there's nothing installed, there's an open circuit, and there's no battery attached. Okay? And now, the next thing we're going to do is attach the battery. Now, I like to unplug my panel whenever I'm working on the power in any way. Because I just take away any electricity and reduces the chance of getting that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these batteries in. Now, these are just the batteries I have. We don't really need to have these batteries exactly, but it's a good idea to have these batteries exactly. Okay. So this might seem weird, but what you need to do is take a, some kind of wire and attach it to the black part of the battery, just like that. And take this part and attach it right to that end. You might th be thinking at this moment that, no, hidden, I was going to create a short circuit. Well, you are not, I can guarantee that. Okay, so once you have that, I extended this just because it wasn't long enough when I actually had this installed. So now there are three plugs right there. Go ahead and put it right there. And these are not working because these are completely dead. Now, if you plug it in, it will start automatically charging the batteries. So it's coming back to life. Now, the only trouble I have is trouble three open circuit and the battery, too. Oh, yeah, because there's barely any power going into the batteries right now. So, if I press enter, press two, no, nope, no, nope, go back, press three instead, we can see that there that the battery is attached because there, we are getting a voltage off of it. Now if we press reset, it'll say system reset, and then it'll say whatever trouble was already there, and in the next trouble, which shouldn't be the battery, because it's getting these things charged right now. So there's only two troubles, and we're going to take care of them both. Okay. So now, the next thing we are going to do is install our smoke detectors. Now, for that, it's going to be an entire another episode, but we're going to end this here. Okay guys, I went ahead and did some off-camera wiring just to save time. So I got this big piece of wire and attached it here. Under the CL or SLC line, you have it A plus. Okay guys, B my minus, mistake, it's actually B, B plus, plus and B negative. And A minus. Sorry. Not in that order, but... You want to put your red in the A+, as you can see right there, and then your black 
into the A minus right there. And how you do that is you take a little screwdriver and you unscrew the terminal in there. And then you tighten it up once you put them in and you put them in right there. Now it's gonna go over to our smoke detector head here. Well, it's not the head. And you attach it in to its appropriate um, socket. Right here it says negative and positive. And I put two in for each because one runs a line over to here where it's the exact same thing. Now, if you need more clarification on that, I can make an entire another video. Okay, you are not done. No, you are not. And of course, I turned off my panel because I'm working on the electric. And in building, you, uh, it's against the law to turn it off in a building for any purpose. So now, go ahead and plop it in there. It should go in just fine. Plop these guys in. And no, you are not done. I'm sorry, but no, you are not done yet. But actually, you have to find where are you putting it. I got my smoke detectors all hooked in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the battery here. Yeah, it didn't even start up. Now we're going to actually plug in the main lovely power source here. So now these smoke detectors are officially hooked up. The um, sound remover goes right there, but I removed it because it was just annoying. Now, if it's in trouble like that, just press acknowledge step, and it should say acknowledge. So now what we're going to do is press enter, press one, enter the pass key, and the default is zero, 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 five is zeros, basically, and press enter, and now I'm going to press one, and these should blink when it searches out for them. Okay. So, I did not do something right. Just hold on a second. Guys. I'm gonna point this out. I removed the head off of this for, for wiring. And it came up with a trouble saying that I lost signal to this detector. So just to let you guys know that that's what happened. Okay guys, so basically, I just wired it up just like this. And you basically just do it exactly how um, you did it basically before. Like with that, so you just do a double wire. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my nice handy dandy little bugger back on this and it should immediately register or the panel should immediately register that this is just put back on. As you can see the panel just immediately registered that that's back but we are not done here. It doesn't do anything. So now if I find my keys it should be right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get your not your notifier key, your firelight key. It should look exactly like this. A little firelight logo on it. You can insert it right as you can see it's far up. Right into your key slot here. But there is something weird with this pole station. And I can use my modifier key to reset it. I don't know if it's just a glitch with it, but okay, so I'm gonna go in and press enter. Basically just do the exact same thing you've been doing. Press enter, press one. Now that should flash inside of there. See, it just blinked. 
So this means that this is perfectly done correctly. And it's just registering all that I do. Okay, so now it says I can program this monitor. So it says this is a monitor. So using my arrow keys, I can go up and say it was a pull box. Okay. Now I'm going to go and name it as pull. No. Oh, okay. That is a bug right there. Hello, Mr. Bug. How are you? Gonna get shocked there if you don't move. Then I can press one, and then I can press enter. Okay, now if I press reset, as it resets, so these will start blinking slower. And as you can see, this one in here is flashing. Now if I pull it, see our fire alarms are flashing. It says the pull box is pulled. And as you can see, there's, the, there's these solid red light in it. So I mean it is pulled. Now notifier is basically the same as this, but all their lights are green. And the programming is a little different. And even though you reset it, it's still on because you need to press reset. Okay, as you can see now, it is flashing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wire up the enunciator and kind of clean this up just a little bit, just for, just because, okay? Now, okay, bye everybody, bye, uh, bye, no, no, stop. Okay, guys, we are back, and if you have a blinking light, just press Acknowledge, and actually says you acknowledge it. Now here we have Bell Power One. So here is B plus, and here is B negative. Tie that into it, just like that, just like how I showed you with these, except it's in Bell Power One. And it comes over here to our strobe side of life, where just follow the red wire, because there's red wire going from the terminal into the device and black wire. Just hook it up, just like it is, and you can also branch off onto this one too. So, now if I turn my wheel lock friends around, just like that, and use that a face place for this by the way. And we go ahead and put this into alarm with one of our smoke detectors, and I'll show you another way to do it too. Now uh, that should activate. So over here, we have our strobes which are now activated. You will see in a little while that these are not fully synced. As you can actually probably just have to go So now here, what we can do is we can press silence alarm. And now we'll silence our strobes. And that is it for the strobe. Um, I'll also show you a horn in a second. Strobe, wait, wait, wait. Hold everything. I didn't show you this. Okay, right here below, there is a candela setting. This is set on 75. This is set on 15. Now, on the back here, I have a little knob that's right here. So I will put it all the way over where you, to the left, like I just did, on um, both of them. And let's flip these guys around. They're both set to 110 candela. So now, here's another way to set off the alarm without calling the fire department. You can hold down drill for three seconds. And these are increasingly brighter. 15 candela is what you see in a hallway in a classroom, and 110 is about a movie theater. Or I am. Um, somewhere where it's, you need to know. And those will continue to blink. Okay, now we can. Okay, I am mistaking. We actually have one more thing to do with our strobes. 
So we flip our strobes over, just like this. We're gonna get our tiny little resistor. I am not exactly sure what K these resistors are, but we go ahead and take our little resistor and put it in just like this. Now you, now you might see there's only one trouble. There's so two troubles. It hasn't even registered that resistor is there yet. So now what we are going to do is open this resistor. Open it wide open. Or just bell circuit. Get our second resistor. It's like this. It's a little resistor. And go ahead and stuff this right in there. And you can also test it by doing this. So now there's only one trouble. And if I take it off, there should be two. But there is. This. So I'm going to go and put these in. And I'll see you all. Hey guys, it's Hayden. So I wired up the enunciator and. So. I'm going to go rewire this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got my phone back, so here's the enunciator I'm programming right now. So this is what it looks like. So basically, if you want to enable this after you put it all correctly in, if you go to the programming menu, which I will, uh, don't kill me, don't kill me. So if you go here, where you have all that, and you press three, press your forward arrow, Okay, get to this setting right here, LP, change it to L, press enter, and reset the system. As you can see, it's giving me a full readout of what is happening. Also, oh, it's normal. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the pull station. And also, I can get my fire light key I can turn it I acknowledge the alarm silence it and reset it. No, you're not gonna make it. You're not activated. Sorry, that was kind of a rush. Then I can also put the monkey back in. Do a drill. So silence and reset. Then, if I put my pound to trouble, it'll tell me what the trouble is. annoying when it goes off so I'm not sure it's going to be going to be annoying it or who's not going to be reporting it it's freaking annoying when it goes off okay guys I did not scratch that I scratched that okay so basically here is the alarm system completed and it's gonna be a series of videos that I'm gonna to have to put together so basically here's a brief overview the strobes, the batteries, the panel, the enunciator. And I also showed you how to wire that too, so good for me. Good for me. But I didn't really show you how to wire wire it, but I showed you how to program it. And then we have a little smelly smokes. And then we have this bro over here. 
But now I'm going to show you something cool about my smoke detectors. These are heat detectors also, if I haven't already said that. So if I go ahead and plug this in, and turn this on low, Okay, there's something going on. I don't want to use this, so. I got it. As you can see, it activated its heat sensor. Right. Let's see. Smoke alarm, fire alarm, and then we can go ahead and shut it up with our enunciator. Okay, so basically that's all you need to do. You can just go and extend these way off, you can extend these way off, you can extend those way off. You can have up to 99 of those and 99 of those and unlimited of those. Just extend them out, extend those out. And it's just really cool. I'm not going to be able to sh show you a horn, unfortunately, but I'll get that all in another video. Anyways, guys, this is the full system overview. We completed it. And uh, cheers. Cheers for all of us. Cheers. Happy Hooray Motorcycle Go Kart. Hooray. And this is also another fire alarm. It's a T bar. I'm not going to be wiring it because I don't have another resistor I could use. So, yeah. So, basically, anyone, everyone, just keep safe. Do whatever you want to do. Go out and wire your house a bit. And yeah, you have to look over the FAA rules though. Because there's certain things you have to do. Like a strobe there. You have to do one right there. Fire alarm panel right there. There's a bunch of fire stuff up there. And I'm just to let you guys know if you are wiring the fire alarm panel, this is going to be a free rule. Um, up in attic spaces, you have to use heat detectors instead of smoke detectors. And even though, even if it's a smoke detector and um, heat detector mix, you have to use a heat detector plane, or else the dust might activate it. So let's go ahead and end off this video with a poll. And anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you, that you come back and look at the Cool HR School account, and, or channel, and then the Cool HR account. Now, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this how-to, and this all, and, oh, oh, I never got that to go off to school. Hello? Oh, yeah, that, that is actually really long. Okay, anyways, guys, I'll see you all, you guys, everyone. Internet, wait. I never showed you the inside of a pool station. I, come on. So that's the end. Guys, I do want to show you. So if I go ahead and unplug it, well, the backup batteries are there. I thought we're going to get an air message. Obviously, the backlights have gone off, and all the backlights have gone off. But if I pull the pull station, the backlights will go on. And it's, it's unplugged here. And it's just the battery working. And it's really freaking loud right now. Hold on. Oh, that was the uh, wrong key. Getting a little quiet.
Look, reset. It's dying. Quick. We're losing it. We're losing him. Quick. Reset it. It'll be okay. Okay. We're losing it. Quick, plug it in. You got it? It's all good? Wait. No, it's not all good. No. No. So that's the side. And anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here to make sure you like and subscribe and come check out both of my channels. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Goodbye.